Next question is from Coach Hickman Lifts. Favorite old school lifts that don't see love anymore? You know what's funny is we're seeing more old school lifts being done today than we did uh, before. I mean, when yeah. I was in gyms, I never saw – I mean, heck, we didn't see deadlifts or barbell squats, uh, let alone, you know, uh, zercher squats or good mornings. Good what, mornings what do you attribute it to? Uh, mind pump. I think we started talking about. <laughs> it's definitely us. No, I don't know. I think it's the. I think it was uh, social media. A lot of good trainers and coaches coming out and talking about the bed. Like Good Mornings, for example, never saw them. Um, and I love that exercise done properly. It's a great hamstring exercise. So I'm going to pick an exercise that it's it's old school that you still today don't see a lot of. Um, I love the one arm uh, push press with the dumbbell or one arm clean press with the dumbbell. This was. An old strongman lift. Some people call like it a circus a, press. Like similar to a circus oh, I press. Love, I love that. I love it. I love doing heavy singles with it. So I'll take a heavy dumbbell. I'll clean it to my shoulder. Uh, opposite arm is kind of out for balance. And I'll pop it up and then drop it down on the ground. So I'll make sure I have some a nice mat or something I could drop the dumbbell. Um, and then I'll rest and I'll do it again. Great exercise for shoulder strength, uh, upper back. And then here's another one. We've talked about this one a lot. It's in a lot of our programs. Still don't see it uh, quite. I don't see it anywhere still. Um, windmills. Uh, windmills are great exercise for your your the side of your body, your QL, spinal health. If you have issues with your deadlifts where your back starts to get a little sore or hips, yeah, when get good at windmills and that makes a big it difference. It just bulletproofs, you know, your your spine and helps to support you in any kind of rotation. And I think it's important to really visit that and, and make that, you know, a priority in your programming. Uh, I also, well, you know, what's interesting about this too, is, uh, I just, every now and then I'll kind of do some moves with Indian clubs and, you know, I, I expect already that I'm going to get some jokes about like air traffic control and whatnot, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, there's been a lot of interest, um, and, and I get like DMs constantly about it and I've seen other pages and people popping up. Uh, where there's this like real interest in, in that style of training and also in like Persian meals and then also like mace bells and gadas and things like that. They're very much unconventional, but they're like ancient, you know, like people are using them for a long period of mm -hmm. time and they have value. And so it's, I, I don't know, man, it's exciting to see, but also it's definitely underground mm. still. I'm going to pick one that uh, Sal actually introduced to me and it, it's completely changed uh how i train like so i used to love or do a lot of leg extensions and i have not done a leg extension in i don't know how many years now uh ever since uh, you got me doing sissy squats um i think sissy squats are one of like the one of the golden forgotten movements that you still never see mm -hmm. you're right i always get like a bunch of people are hard yeah and they're just they look weird right mm -hmm. if you don't know what the person's doing it looks like oh my god their knees are traveling way over their toes he's on his tippy toes what the hell is this guy doing it just looks weird if you have no idea what it's doing or what you're doing but the the movement uh i think it should, not only is it uh i feel it 10 times more uh, in my quads when I do that uh, over a leg extension. It also promotes good hip extension. Mm -hmm. And I just think when I when I think of a majority of my clients that I, I was always talking to them about hip extension and why this is such an important movement for you and you have to ha you have to be able to engage that really well and do that movement. So it's a little more technical, but like anything else that's a little more technical, it comes with more benefits. And yeah, so lots of value. Oh, I just and, and you don't need anything. Mm -hmm. You could just you could just grab something to hold on to anywhere in your house and get this massive quad pump with just your body weight. Mm -hmm. And then heaven, if you get really good at it, you know, holding a twenty five pound plate. And I never really have to do that. I mean, it just just my body just weight. Just your slow. body squeeze. Oh yeah, and it promotes good, good ankle mobility. It's got you get good hip extension in it, and then just a massive pump. sissy squats. I think are for sure a forgotten movement that I think belongs in a lot of people's routines. And I still, I've never, I've actually never seen anybody else do it in the gym. That's yeah. still an exercise that mm -hmm. I never see anybody else. Well, they had that sissy squat machine or apparatus, not the same. And nobody used uh, to use that. Yeah. Either. And nobody used it, but it's still, it's not even the same. The mm -hmm. actual free body sissy squat is uh, superior. Another exercise that's good that I've never really trained myself, but I see what's involved in, in doing it, and I can see the value in it. And Justin, you're really good at doing this, is the bent press, mm -hmm. the side bent press. Yeah, I love that. This was how strong men back in the day would, would do these exhibitions where they would lift ungodly amounts of weight with one arm above their head. I think Eugene Sandow did 
uh, I don't know, almost 300 pounds mm -hmm. with this bent press. And it's very, very technical, and it requires tremendous oblique spinal stability, uh, uh, QL, quadratus stability, and then, of course, shoulder mobility to do. Well, you it's combining two of the moves that you picked, yeah. right? The windmill the one, and the circus press. Yep. It's very, very similar to those two. You, you get the benefits of both those, right? Mm -hmm. So if you yeah. can, if you like the windmill, the circus press, the uh, to me, that's the progression is to do mm -hmm. a bent press. Yeah, you got to be a master of distributing that force throughout your body and not having it stop at those compromising joints like your shoulder joint and, you know, like it, it's very much of a technical move, but once you get the technique down it opens you up for lots of other strength moves. and then here's a movement it's a bodybuilder old school bodybuilder movement i don't really never see anybody do a uh, reverse curl on with a curl bar you love that one. um i you know what i tell you what do reverse curls and then watch the the comments you get on your arms get good at them it really does develop the top of your forearms and the thickness in your bicep and it gives you nice looking relaxed arms you know you're walking around in a t-shirt uh you can tell when you when you do that exercise